Hello and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Nurse Alyssa and today we're going to be talking about povidone iodine. But first, if you could hit that like and subscribe button, it would be greatly appreciated as it truly does help my channel grow. So let's get started. So povidone iodine is a 10% iodine solution and it is a liquid antiseptic solution with a long germicidal activity. So indications for use for the povidone iodine, it is an antiseptic solution that we use on dry Eshgar to maintain um, an intact covering of the wound, okay? So when you have Eshgar, that thick, hard Eshgar, um, and you want it to stay in place, so this is either normally determined by a uh, wound care clinician, physician, or nurse practitioner uh, for non-healing wounds. So really, this is used to kind of keep it dry and intact um, while keeping it somewhat sterile. So it is an antiseptic, so you're cleansing, disinfecting, and keeping it intact, that eschgar. Um, so it's almost like a scab. Eschgar is almost like a scab. Um, and we want to keep it there for a non-healing wound. Um, this just makes it so uh, there's less chances of infection. Um, so precautions, we want to be cautious around the eyes, um, patients who are pregnant or breastfeeding, neonatals, um, and we want to avoid using this before any radio iodine diagnostic tests. Um, and we're going to make sure that we inform the physician or nurse practitioner if the patient is taking lithium, if they have renal impairment, or if they have a thyroid disorder. So we want to make sure that we are informing the doctor that we are using this on their wounds, um, as there can be complications with that. Contraindications. So we are not going to be using this on patients with a known um, sensitivity to iodine. We're not going to use um, the iodine products with silver products. Um, so me personally, I always try to use as minimal products as possible because um, there is a product out there for every situation. You don't need to stack products. Um, so iodine and silver do not go together because the iodine actually inactivates the silver. Um, we're not going to use the iodine with santal as it, in, um, it inactivates the enzymatic debridement effect. Um, and we're not going to use this for prolonged periods of times with clients with a, uh, with a thyroid disorder or if they are on lithium therapy. Um, and do not use this on irritated or broken skin. Do not use this under an occlusive dressing and we're not going to use it on premature neonatos, okay? Pretty much what we're using the povidone iodine for is when we're keeping a wound dry. We want to kind of dry it out for our non-healing wounds. So the application of um, the povidone iodine, so it is a liquid solution, so you're going to apply the liquid solution um, and completely clean the area um, over top the eschgar or scab like material and you're also going to go out two and a half centimeters onto the peri wound and you're going to cleanse that area also okay so you're going to allow that to dry and then you're going to use a gauze like cover dressing okay so the expected outcome of using the povidone iodine is that the eschgar will remain dry and intact, okay? Um, and I did just want to note here, you don't need to cleanse this wound with normal saline or sterile water. That's just adding moisture to it. We're using the povidone iodine to keep it dry. So it, it does dry out. The liquid povidone iodine it does dry it out. Frequency of dressing change, you're just going to um, kind of gauge this, reapply as needed. Um, so it's a non-healing wound. It's not, it's either going to take a really long time to heal or it's not going to heal at all. Um, so this isn't going to be a daily dressing, it's more as an as needed dressing. Um, the formats, the different formats, it does come in wipes, sticks, and the bottle. Um, 
So it's just completely preference and how big of a space it is. So that's all I have for this video. I hope you did find it um, helpful for your daily practice. Um, and if you haven't done so already, if you could please hit that subscribe button, it truly does help my channel. And I'll catch you in my next video. See you guys.